Hello everyone, it's Lilac James. Welcome back to another video. I do want to say in advance, a large portion of this video is scripted just because I want to make sure that I get all of the correct info into this video and that I don't forget anything because I'm really good at that. So I did write everything down that I want to say, um, but I'm also obviously going to be adding points in that I forgot to write down and different things like that as well. Um, a couple weeks ago, my Horse Reading Tells account was hacked. And if you see my community posts and my last Horse Reading Tells video, you probably already know this, but I wanted to make this video to explain everything in more detail since those posts and videos were posted when I was in panic mode and aren't super clear on everything that actually happened. I will still keep all those posts and that video up in my channel because I think it's important that you see the raw emotions that I was going through while all of this was happening. But I also recommend that you watch this video to get the entire story because just the raw footage and stuff is not enough of an explanation to tell you guys everything that happened and really give you the entire story. Please watch this video all the way through. It might be kind of long. I don't really know because it's scripted. It might not be super long, but it also might be. I, I, I really don't know if it is long though and you don't want to watch the whole video, then just don't watch any of the video and completely forget about the whole situation because if you don't watch the whole video, you're gonna miss a lot of important information. So either watch the whole video or don't watch any of it. I do want to say right now, I am not quitting Horseford Intels or YouTube. I've just been really busy and unable to play or film anything. A lot of people have asked me about that, if I'm quitting because of this or, you know, whatever, and I'm not. I just have been busy and also I really wanted to make this video before I made any other horse riding tail videos because my next horse riding tail video is probably going to be a little bit different than the ones that I've made in the past. Um, and I'll explain more about that at the end of the video. Uh, one last thing before the video begins, this video isn't meant to hate on Foxy Ventures at all, but more to spread awareness on the fact that this is something that can actually happen. and. You know, I think a lot of people claim they've been hacked. I've seen that a lot. And I want to say that I don't necessarily know how many of them actually have. I didn't even know it was something that could actually happen until now. Um, because Foxy Ventures in the past has always assured me that this isn't something that can happen. But now it obviously has happened. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of people in my comment section on the video claimed that they had been hacked too. But I honestly am taking all of that with a grain of salt, I guess. And anytime you see someone claim about being hacked, take it with a grain of salt. Because you can't always be 100% sure. But yeah, this video is just meant to spread awareness. I'm not looking for, I mean, like, I don't know. I just want to tell you guys that this is something that can happen. I'm not trying to scare you or anything like that. That's not my intent with this video. I just want to keep you guys updated and tell you guys what has been happening and everything. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to scare you with this video. I'm not trying to make you quit the game. Don't do either of those things. Don't, don't quit the game because of this. You know what I mean? And if for some reason this somehow does manage to happen to you, you know, there's not, you know, just... This is what I did, and this is what happened. Um, yeah, and even if the issue hadn't been resolved in the end, I don't think I would have completely quit the game. I know I mentioned that in the raw footage video that I posted a few weeks ago. Um, but, you know, I don't think I really would have. Even if I, even if all of that had happened, I don't think I would have quit. It's just a major inconvenience, and it's it, it sucks, <laughs> honestly. Anyway... Um, Foxy Ventures did take a while to actually be helpful in this whole situation, which I will talk about further on in the video as well. But they did respond really fast. That is one thing they did really well. They responded as fast as time zones and working hours in Australia would allow. Um, it just took a while because in their time zone, when they would be working, it would be night for me. So it was just lots of back and forth for a very long time, it felt like. I think it was, this whole process took a week and a half or so. I'm not really sure. Anyway, with this massive intro and disclaimer aside, here's everything that happened. On Friday, I opened my game with the intent on filming a Mythical Whistle opening video. 
when I was met with the pick a language screen. Since I already had my recorder open, I decided to record this clip. It's always slightly concerning when you log on to film a video and you're met with the select your language screen. Um, you know, <laughs> okay, I have a feeling that my account probably got, you know, like, it happened once before where my account just, like, went just 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 went missing and i basically had to ask for an account transfer and that took several weeks um but i was gonna log on open a mythical whistle today and i was really excited but i don't know we'll have to have to see what happens here yep this is great we don't love this <laughs> okay um so change of plans uh we're not opening a mythical whistle today i'm gonna pick a name i guess since i don't really have any other choice right now. This wasn't the first time my account had done this. It's happened at least twice in the past, so I wasn't really worried about it as it's usually just a technical issue for some reason. I don't know. It just, my account will just randomly go away for no reason. It happens. It's happened multiple times. I just message them and it's never been a problem in the past. They always get my account back right away. I've never had missing currency. I've never had missing horses, nothing like that. It's purely a technical issue. So that's what I figured this was. I messaged them to asking for an account recovery. I figured it would take a while for them to respond because it always does. So I was just, you know, playing Star Question. I recorded a couple Star Question videos in the meantime or whatever. Sunday morning, I awoke to a reply claiming that my account was still active. This was definitely concerning, um, but I only really considered that I could have been hacked for like a moment. You know, I figured, oh, it's just a technical issue. It's only been like two days since I was online. It's probably not that big of a deal. Um, and Foxy has assured me in the past that it's impossible to be hacked. I used to assume that it was because, like, they can see IP addresses or something. Like, I don't I don't know. Something that would allow them to know for sure that it's you. I, I just did. I assume that. I, I don't know how they do it. I don't even know if they do it now. But anyway, um, I responded explaining that it was only a couple days since I was last online. And maybe that's why my account still remained, like, quote-unquote, Active, you know, like it still looked active because it hadn't been that long or whatever. They asked me about a million verification questions, some of which I had to search in my old screenshots to answer because I didn't really know the answer off the top of my head. Um, you know, and I had taken screenshots in the past that would have like some verification info in them that would help them. So I gave the info that they wanted to the best of my ability. One of the questions that they'd asked when the last time when was the last time that my account was active? Now, I had taken a screenshot the last time I'd played the game. Um, however, because of this weird thing that seemed to be happening with then seeing my account as active when it shouldn't have been, I logged on to my mom's phone because she's able to see the last time I was active because she is my club vice. So I went onto her phone and I checked the last time that I was active and it said that I had been active less than two days ago and that was obviously wrong as i had been waiting for an account transfer for over two days i was really freaked out by this i didn't really know what to think and i tried not to think about it too much um i posted this on my community page as well when that happened um and i just explained to them in my message you know that i think it's weird and i think that it must be wrong because if they look at the timestamp from when i sent the first message i obviously wasn't online so yeah, and I did the only thing I could, which was wait. The next morning, I opened the game to find that my account had been restored, and I was super happy. And then I noticed that my gems and apples were gone. And that's when I recorded the I was hacked video. I uploaded all the raw footage of that experience already. Um, I will show a clip of it right here. So... Um... I was hacked, like actually hacked, like 100% my account. So if you've been following my updates on my community page, I'm sorry, my heart is thumping so fast, like <laughs> this, okay. <laughs> I did miss a few things in that 20 minutes or whatever because you know i was panicking i didn't really know what to do i wasn't thinking necessarily completely illogically i was just looking for 
an explanation, I guess. Um, but after I posted that, like an hour later, I really analyzed everything that was different. And there was a new horse in my stable that I never purchased. And the horse was level 100, explaining where my apples went. Um, my magic stable had been maxed out. I assumed my gems had been used to buy a mythical whistle, which would have given me this, the new Arabian. And then also a silver whistle. I didn't see a horse purchased with a silver whistle. I didn't notice any new horses um, that could have been bought with that. So I assume that it was sold or something because it would have been a duplicate of a horse I already have because I already have all the horses from silver whistles. Um, my, many of my tameable horses had been sold as well as several of my like empty stables that I had. Um, after recording that video, and after observing all of that, I messaged Foxy Ventures. I stayed up late that day waiting for an update because I knew they would probably respond around like late at night for me. So I just stayed up late waiting for a response. And I received this. The response confirmed my suspicions of a silver whistle being purchased. It didn't confirm the mythical whistle suspicions, but because I had that horse in my stable, it was kind of obvious that that had been purchased or whatever. Um, however, this purchase was not done by me, and it was impossible to have done by me. However, it was impossible for me to have bought the silver whistle. I assume the mythical whistle was bought right before that, except the log that they sent me didn't show the mythical whistle just because I had claimed a reward or whatever right before that. Um, so yeah, it showed that. And then I knew for sure that a silver whistle had been bought and a mythical whistle, which explained obviously where all my gems went. Um, they also gave me timestamps on this log. Um, I was not online or I wasn't on my account when that was bought and when that was purchased because I had been waiting for an account transfer when that was purchased. So yeah, I responded with a message explaining that, explaining that I hadn't been online when that horse was bought, explaining that everything. I don't know exactly what it says. I'll put, I, I screenshotted it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, but that's what I sent. I wasn't online when the horse was purchased. I couldn't have been online because I was waiting for an account transfer, which they should have seen in their logs or whatever. They responded with this, which made me very mad and very concerned and very annoyed because they should have been able to see that I had been waiting for an account transfer when that stuff was purchased, because they obviously have logs, time logs, of when people contact for an account transfer and when people contact for an account recovery. They have logs for that. And they also have logs as when people are online. They also have logs. They have logs. They have timestamp logs for everything, including purchases. So they should have been able to see that I wasn't online when this horse was purchased, but they didn't really care. And that's when I posted this on my community tab. Yeah. So, after that, I just kind of accepted the fact that I wasn't getting the gems back, and I renamed all of my horses, and I was going to change my name from Violet Moon 8934 to something else. Um, I also want to say, I know I've been recording a lot of, I've, I know I've been putting a lot of screenshots and things of a lot of account information in this video. Don't worry about any of that, because my account name is different now, and all of my horse names are different. Um, I'll still be referring to my horses as their old names or whatever, just because I'm really attached to their old names. I'll probably end up posting videos with my horses, like naming my horses, but I'll just give them like a separate code name for in-game, um, just so people can't find out what they are. And yeah, anyway, I renamed all my horses. I was going to rename my character, but I couldn't yet. I figured for the time being, at least, until I could rename my character, it would be fine because all my horse names were different. And then I also changed my club name. Um, I just changed it to an inactive for like a few days and then for a week, I think, until it actually let me change it to something else because I just wanted to change it to something right away and then pick a better name later, which I have done. It's not inactive anymore. It does have a name. Anyway, um, yeah, I changed all my horse names. And then I kind of just accepted the fact I wasn't getting my money back and I'd have to, you know, re-save up gems. I didn't really know what videos I was going to post. I didn't really know what I was going to do. I just kind of accepted that that was it. That was all I could do. I'd messaged them multiple times. They didn't care. And 
yeah, I had given up because I didn't know what else to do. And they told me that it's not possible to log into a different account, which was so annoying because obviously it is possible. It is so incredibly easy to log into someone's account, request an account transfer and come up with a valid excuse and know some very basic information about somebody's account. Like that's all you need to do. And it's so annoying that they won't do anything about it. And I understand that it might be technically difficult, I guess, to do something about it. But you'd think they'd at least say, don't share your horse names or something, which in the future I won't be doing. I might show my player name again. I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm going to do that yet. If I'm going to show my player name um, or my club name or anything like that, I haven't decided on that yet. But I know for sure that I won't be showing my horses because I think even if someone does have my player name, as long as they don't have other information about my account, such as horse names and stuff like that, I think it'll be fine. So I just won't be sharing that information. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically everything that's happened. Um, anyway, I feel like I went off track a little bit. Can you tell where my script stopped? Because it's when I started rambling. Anyway, after I accepted the fact that I won't get my stuff back, I logged on the next day and found my stuff back. <laughs> I posted this on my community tab and I had gotten my stuff back. My drums were back. My apples were back. Everything was back. My horses were not back. But then a couple hours later, I got a message, um, like, in one, just a pop-up box on the screen saying that my horses were in my pen. My missing horses were in my pen, was what it said. And then I went to my pen and I put all my horses back in their stables and whatever. But they never said anything directly to me other than that one message in a box. Because the last message that I had directly with Sport was that they weren't going to do anything. And I just kind of accepted that because I had messaged them so many times. They said they weren't going to do anything. And then they did. I don't know what that was about. I would assume that they probably saw my video or something and finally decided to do something about it. But yeah, that's what happened. I hope that's a better explanation than the raw footage video and the community posts. That's everything that happened with my account. Going forward, I don't know what I'm going to do for sure. I, I did change my name to something else. My name is something else now. Um, and I'm not sure if I like it. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. I'm not sure if I like it though. So I might change it again, but we'll see. Um, I also have changed my club name and all that. I don't know. I'll probably end up sharing my name eventually on camera. I know 100% though, like I said earlier, I will not be sharing horse names on camera. Um, or really any other account information. As much as I can keep private, I guess I will. Which... It will be kind of weird because I like just being able to play the game and enjoy the game without having to worry about keeping things about the game secret. You know what I mean? And it's just so annoying. And live streaming now is going to be hard because I won't be able to choose horses because you guys will see the horse names. And live streaming in general, if I do decide to make my name public or whatever, you guys will be able to see my character name when I live stream. And you guys are going to want to be in the same room with me and you guys are going to want to friend me and you guys are going to figure out my numbers of my name and all that stuff and I just I don't know I haven't decided on an official solution for that yet as of now though I do have a video planned at least one maybe two I don't remember I have them written down on a on a thingy um so I will have videos coming out eventually I don't know when for sure because like I said before I've been so busy lately so they will come out eventually I don't know when though but they will um I'm not quitting horse training tells I'm not going to stop making videos of it it's just like, I might not be doing it as much. You know what I mean? Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. In conclusion, Fossil Adventures needs to figure out a better way to secure their game. I feel like they could do this through passwords or accounts like they did with Star Question. Star Question has accounts now. Um, I don't know how secure the accounts are, but they do have accounts, which is better than Horse Rondels can say. Or like connect it to a Google account because if you sign, if you guys don't know. So, or connect it to either a Google or Apple ID account. And basically how that would work is that so many mobile games use that. And it's just connected, like it saves your progress through your Google account or your Apple ID or whatever you have, whatever kind of device you have, it saves it through that. So basically when you get a new device, as long as you're logged in to the device with your email, it will save your progress for your games and like transfer it over or whatever. They should do that because then it would be easier. I don't know what it takes to add passwords into a game. 
And I know that it's probably very technologically difficult, if not technologically impossible, but they need to come up with some solution. Even if they had um, a private code or like a, they could call it like a secret code or something, I don't know, that you can find in settings that, you know, you can change if you accidentally shown a camera or whatever, you can change it really easily and it's not shared in game because the four digit code after your name is so easily found in game. You can find it by talking in chat. You can find it by clubs. You can find it by literally everything. That's how you friend people is by that code or whatever. So they really need something that's completely secret that you, that other players never see. Um, and yeah, that's basically all for this video. I, it was long and I'm sorry about that. And it, towards the end, it was a little rambly, but hopefully you kind of got the gist of everything and you kind of know what I'm trying to say. And yeah, now you guys know everything that happened. I also want to give a massive thank you to all of you guys through all, all of this because you guys have been so supportive in wanting to know what happens next. What happened, you guys really wanted updates and you guys just really wanted to know everything. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys being so supportive. And I'm not going to share her name on camera because I don't know if she would like it, but there was a point, um, when I was like online after I realized I'd been hacked and I didn't really know what to do. Fox Adventures had said they weren't going to help me multiple times. And I was just like sitting there playing the game and just like near tears. And she sees me online and she comes and she says, hi, and she sent me a mythical whistle and I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. She's amazing. And she's probably watching this video and I just wanted to give you a massive thank you. You know who you are. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.